Synthesizing of nanoparticles using solution combustion method. Hello everyone. Today I am going to present the calculations and experimental part of solution combustion method used to synthesize aluminium oxide nanoparticles. This video will clear all your doubts related to solution combustion method. As I explained the most essential calculation part and experimental part very clearly that you do not get in any other videos. So watch till the end. Solution combustion method to synthesize alumina powders. Solution combustion synthesis is a quick and easy process to synthesize nanoparticles with an advantage of saving of time and energy. This process is used directly in the production of high purity homogeneous ceramic oxide powders. This method is versatile for the synthesis of a wide size range of particles including nanometer size alumina powders. Now in this video I am going to synthesize the aluminium nanoparticles. So the chemicals used here are aluminium nitrate, sugar and deionized water. And here to prepare this aluminium nitrate uh, nanoparticles, we are using apparatus like weighing machine. So weighing machine is used to measure the weight of the chemicals. Beaker is used to prepare the solutions. Magnetic stirrer is used to mix the solutions of oxidizer and fuel properly as manual mixing may not be sufficient to mix the solutions furnace to heat the solutions and crucible is used for calcinations now here the materials that we use is here you can see aluminium nitrate so this is the aluminium nitrate metal salt we are using so that is represented by alno 32 so that is aluminium nitrate nonahydrate and this formula is written on the bottle itself and the molecular weight of this aluminium nitrate is also written on the bottle. So that is 375.13 grams. Aluminium nitrate is taken as oxidizer. It is the raw material for the final desired product that is aluminium oxide nanoparticles. If we are using zinc, if we are in requirement of uh, zinc nanoparticles, then we will be using zinc nitrate as the oxidizer. Here I am synthesizing the aluminium nanoparticles. So I am using aluminium nitrate as the oxidizer. It is the raw material for the final desired product that is aluminium oxide nanoparticles. In this experiment, I used sugar as a fuel. So here you can observe sugar that is the daily table sugar that we use at home that is taken as fuel. The organic fuel acts as a reducing agent here fuel so that is the common sugar uh, common name we call it as the sugar or the sucrose and its chemical formula is C12H22O11 its molecular mass is 342.30 grams per mole here the main reason why we use fuel are they are the source of heat so when this fuel are mixed with the oxidizer they increase the combustion process they are the source of carbon and hydrogen and during the combustion process they perform carbon dioxide and water they form complexes with the metal ions and facilitate homogeneous mixing of the cations in the solution and so this fuel is used and apart from this fuel so here i am using the metal nitrate that is aluminium nitrate and sulfates also we can use and fuels can be any carbohydrates such as the sugar or glucose or sucrose or urea can be used urea or glycine can be used as these carbohydrates contains as the organic materials contains carbon and hydrogen and before we proceed with the experimental part first we should know what quantity of chemicals should be used for that we need to know about the calculation part and before we proceed on to the calculation part we should know 
what is the oxidizer to fuel ratio so this oxidizer to fuel ratio is gives the information about <clears throat> what type of the uh, oxidizer or fuel we are taking that depends on the combustion temperature of fuel to oxidizer ratio and the amount of water can affect the reaction and the products of solution combustion method in general a good fuel should not react as explosives and make toxic gases so the fuel that we consider for this reaction should be taken very carefully and if the oxidizer fuel ratio is equal to 1 so that we call it as the stoichiometric ratio that means the initial mixture does not require any atmospheric oxygen for a complete oxidation of the fuels and if the oxidizer to fuel ratio is greater than 1 then we say fuel is less and the oxidizer content is more and if the oxidizer to fuel ratio is less than 1 then we say fuel rich so that is fuel is more and the oxidizer is taken less in quantity so now here the to calculate what quantity of the metal nitrate should be taken we use the formula that is weight of fuel divided by molecular weight of the fuel into valency of fuel is equals to weight of metal nitrate divided by molecular weight of metal nitrate into valency of metal nitrate now this we can just write it as weight of fuel is equals to weight of the oxidizer into molecular weight of the fuel into valency of oxidizer divided by molecular weight of the oxidizer into valency of the fuel here in this video i'm using aluminum nitrate so here i am calculating doing the calculations for aluminum nitrate and the fuel sugar you can <coughs> use the other salts that is the metal nitrates you can use to form so that is the zinc nitrate can be used to produce zinc nanoparticles or lead nitrate can be used to synthesize the nano particles and the fuels that we are using here in this uh, experiment i have used sugar or apart from sugar you can use urea or glycine or if we are doing the green synthesis method in place of that uh, sugar or the glycine or urea you can use even aloe vera gel also aloe vera gel or lemon so any plant product so that contains the carbohydrates carbon and hydrogen can be used in this Uh, for the solution combustion method so now valency of the oxidizer we are going to calculate here aluminum nitrate so in this video if you observe the valency of aluminum is plus 3 and valency of nitrogen is taken as zero oxygen is minus 2 and the whole thing is multiplied by 2 so 3 plus 0 in plus 3 into minus 2 into 2 so the total we get valency of the oxidizer as minus 9 and now this minus 9 we are not directly using we are just neglecting the sign minus sign and we use the valency of oxidizer as 9 and here uh, the valency of the fuel that is sugar is calculated sugar chemical formula is c12h22o11 carbon valency is 4 hydrogen valency is plus 1 oxygen valency is minus 2 so if we calculate 12 into 4 12 molecules of carbon into 4 its valency is 48 22 molecules of um, hydrogen into its valency 1 is plus 22 and 11 moles of uh, molecules of oxygen multiplied by its uh, valency minus 2 gives minus 22 so 48 plus 22 minus 22 um, plus 22 minus 22 gets cancelled and we get the valency of the fuel as 48 now in this formula